Bosch, Château 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 Bosch,
of, um, of the Spanish, or let's say the Roman Catholics, because the people of Chateau Combos were loyal to the Catholic cause. And so in 1601, uh, when Moritz, uh, the Stadtholder of uh, the Netherlands, tried to besiege uh, Chateau Combos, uh, Spanish reinforcements came and kicked the Dutch out. And so, and so the Dutch attempt uh, to took, take Chateau Combos failed. But then, this time in 1629, uh, the second siege of Setochombos, this time the Dutch were victorious and they were able to capture Setochombos and Setochombos came in Dutch hands. And as far as the residents, the Catholic residents who reside in Setochombos, they fled down south to Flanders. Here it is, uh, the wall of the citadel, the star-shaped uh, fortress of the citadel, which is the reason why I came here, because as I said before, I love history, and so, uh, yeah, I'm trying to make the videos as short as I could, uh, because otherwise it will be too long, and so, yeah, I will start making another video like this by the time I went inside. Okay, entering the northern uh, entrance of the north, northern citadel, and if you look here, there is a moat, which is uh, very typical that um, it's part of the defences. You could see where the ducks were swimming and all that, and you can also see on the other side where people are loading a canoe and all that. And if you look at the walls, the, the city defences, they're very effective against uh, uh, round wall, uh, bridge loading, no, uh, muzzle loading cannons. Okay, this is the information I needed uh, for the map, uh, especially what I got right there. Okay, this building over here, this is built um, in a time in 1789 and 1791 and it says that it used to be a gunpowder house where they store gunpowder. Let's say, okay, there's a sign which says Wirboden sich boten, boten der Wirtbaden der Bergebe. Wow, I am still working on my Dutch pronunciation, which is, um, I think it should be very useful. And I think speaking Dutch or even a lot of Dutch uh, should uh, get benefit if I would uh, think about living in the Netherlands or if I want to continue doing cycling in the Netherlands. Okay, as you could see here, that's the gunpowder house. And here, on the other side, you see cannons. We will get there in a minute. Okay, so the current fortress, which has been built with a seven feet uh, thick walls, it's built in 1637 by the Dutch which is an improved version of the citadel after the famous uh, siege of Chateau of 1629 which was once under the hands of the Spanish and then by the time the, the Dutch they've uh, kicked the Spanish out and successfully besieged the Chateau Bosch with the help of the English and the Scots they took Chateau Bosch and made it their own this is the northern gate built in 1750 it has been rebuilt and restored to its pride. Okay, here we are. This is the 16-pounder cannons, which um, one of the date goes back to 1810. It was already the, no, it says 1819. Yes, this is already the time that, um, that this is uh, the part of the United uh, Kingdom of the Netherlands. And here are the two cannons like this. So these cannons were built right after the Napoleonic uh, Wars. It was the time of uh, William of Orange. These cannons are designed to be part of the fortress. And you can just as well imagine that in the Thirty Years' War, that you're a gunner and you're uh, shooting at uh, an attacking Spaniard as from uh, 1637 or let's say in the 1640s until 1648. And, um, and even before, in, uh, during the siege of Chateau Combos in 1629, with the Spanish gunners uh, uh, shooting at um, uh, the besieging Dutch, English and Scots, until the, the victorious Dutch came over here, took the fortress and then rebuilt the fortress of their own in 1637. What I just found out about this tree, this is a tree dedicated to Wilhelmina, which is uh, named after I think uh, some sort of queen. Yes, Queen Wilhelmina in 1898. It says this tree was planted to uh, commemorate the crowning of Queen Wilhelmina in 1898. And so there we have it. She, she was also the bicycle queen. 
and she was the queen who later in the 1930s issued rights of course to be a patriotic uh, gesture in the Netherlands which is the reason why so many people ride bicycles to this day in the Netherlands. Okay, so I'm about to walk along the square where I'm about to uh, leave the town centre to go and uh, look at the city walls. So, yeah, the city walls were built as the outer walls as part of the defences, especially during the 80 years war. And here we are, we're walking along the ramparts of the battlements, or let's say the walls, you know, the walls of Chateaucombos. We're on the ramparts of the bastion and I'm about to show you what I mean by bastion. See the cannon over there? This marked the spot uh, where all the defences and the battlements took place. And especially during the 17th century, during the 80 years war, but it changed hands uh, a couple of times. In the first half of the 17th century, during the, the 80 years war, it was under uh, the Spanish occupation. It could be because that, uh, yeah, that the residents of Chateaucombos uh, were loyal to the Catholic cause or even to Philip II. And so Maurice tried it once, but he failed in 1601. But then it's not until 1629 that uh, you can just as well tell that uh, with the deadly uh, artillery bombardment uh, from here to here and then from here to here, that, um, that there is a lot of fighting uh, going on, full of bloodshed, uh, which uh, was pretty br brutal back then. But yes, as mentioned before, 1629, the famous siege of Chateaucombos, when the Dutch, English and Scottish brigades, under the leadership of the Dutch uh, Stadtholder, came and besieged Chateaucombos, and, uh, and so Chateaucombos became part of the Netherlands. And so to this day, it's part of the Netherlands. And here we are, my friends. I think it's about time I should uh, stop this video, sign off from YouTube, because tomorrow I'll be going to Utrecht for this very long journey. Tomorrow is going to be a bit tough because it's about to be 54.9 kilometers, which is longer than this, longer than the day before yesterday, and longer than any other bicycle trip I have ever made, uh, you know, for my seven day trip uh, to Amsterdam. Okay, thank you very much, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for part.